Fred Marshall, Chris Foud is leading the horses postward, race number two, second half of the double. Condition Chunders racing one mile. Purse of $2,000 with the driver's change in the three. Here is the lineup, the one Sycamore Ace. Over Barbara Turcott of Coconut Creek, Florida, Mel Turcott driving. Number two, Jade Tierra. Over Claudine and Jack Conway of Tennessee, Mike Wildera. Three, Todd Tabor, laced by Jan Wolf of Bell, Florida. Drivers change to Brad Hanners. Hanners. Four, Lucky and Good. Over by Doris and Steve Dennis out of Thornville for Brett Merkel. Five, Crown Time Discovery. Over by Esther Crown of MacArthur, Ryan Holton drives. Number six will work for food, owned by Charles Geller of Patiascola, Jeff Found of the Bike. Seven is JMC, owned by Ruth Carroll of Chillicothe, Dan Ader drives. And the eight horse Diamonds Double, owned by Tom Rowe, Thad Erlenbach, and Alice Shake of Ohio. Del Miller in the Sulky. Wouldn't play show perfecta, pick three wagering. Nine minutes of push time, nine minutes. And again, moving in. They're on the back stretch. There they go. They're off and uh, trotting in. Crown Time Discovery follows the gateway for the lead from between horses. It's lucky and good. From the inside, there goes Jade's Tierra. Far outside circling comes JMC. And from between those horses will work for food as they step into the first turn. Crown Time Discovery has a lead, but JMC wants to take that lead away. Between horses will work for food. And on the inside, Jade Tierra, right behind the yearly battle. On the inside of five, it's Lucky and Good, followed sixth by Sycamore Race, the opening quarter in 29 seconds. Then trotting a seventh as they come through the uh, stretch. For the first time, it's Todd Tabor. The uh, trailer is Diamond's Double. JMC now has a lead, will work for food, is caught uncovered to the outside, trotting a second. In the pocket three, Crown Time Discovery, Jade Tierra. He is content along the rail fourth, inside of five, lucky and good, and the Sycamore Ace coming to the outside. After the cover is trotting a sixth at the half and 59 seconds. Rounding the clubhouse turn with JMC, calling the shots here. He's heavily favored, he leads by two. Inside a second of Crown Time Discovery, Sycamore Ace waiting no longer, will tip three wide, and Sycamore Ace, some of the outside making his bid for the lead, moving around the uh, tiring, and uh, Park will work for food. Along the rail, it's Jade Tierra trotting a fourth. Lucky and good, slipping up the rail five and swinging to the outside. As sixth comes Diamonds double as they reach that three quarters, 129 and three with JMC still in charge here. Sycamore race on the outside, a seven to one shot. Now getting to the leader's wheel. Along the rail, the crown time discovery and Jade Tierra now leading the wood, coming to the outside, poised to strike three wide. They've lost than an eighth of a mile ago. And with the lead, JMC, but Sycamore Ace on the outside, looking strong here. And Sycamore Ace moving right by, will take the lead. Sycamore Ace opening up to the outside. Jade Tierra, lucky and good from between horses, but it's Sycamore Ace at the wire. Eight one, two hundred fifteen dollars even, two fifteen. Trackside is the official winner of the second off the rail Sycamore Ace, a four-year-old son of Cooper Lobel. From Arnie's Buff, over Barbara Chircott of Coconut Creek, Florida, Mel Chircott, the trainer and driver. First season's victory in a new lifetime record for the Illinois bred Sycamore Ace, taking a mark of two oh one. Here's the way they finished in that second Sycamore race. The winner, Jade Tierra, two. Todd Tabor, four. Lucky and good, three. Crown Time Discovery, seven. Will work for food, eight. GMC, five. And Diamonds, double, six. In review, one, two, four. Three, seven, eight, five, six. In the upcoming third, there are no changes. The eight and early scratch. One play show, perfecta trifecta. And a pick three wagering. 13 minutes to post. <laughs> 